road trip day three we're just doing a quick pit stop to check out the fort here in the tiny town of Remete Remeteya Remeteya the fort looks amazing with the mountain backdrop so majestic now we're not sure what the weather today it might be raining it looks a little bit windy mm -hmm. and our goal is to get to Alba Iulia no problem it's only like an hour or an hour yeah. and a half away so we'll drive slow, we'll find some coffee, we'll find some breakfast. We will road trip with love in our hearts. Oh, the road trip's so good. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, jump in our fearless Fiat and make it to Alba Iulia. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> Small town Romania in search of a cup of coffee. What do you think, Ivana? Feel confident? By the way, I'm not in the mood for instant coffee. I don't know. I have grown to become a bit of a coffee snob. I am not feeling like instant coffee. I want some freshly ground beans with foam for a latte. Let's see. Hello. Hello. Let's see. Hello. Una. Una. Have coffee? Cafe. Cafe. Da. Good. Una. Una. Uh, uh, doa. Doa. Doa coffee. Cafe. Cafe to latte. La, da, latte, da. Latte. Da. Doa. Da. Multi mask. <laughs> Good. Pleasure. Have a pleasure. 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 Da. Pleasure. No, it's outside. Okay. Uh, Tara. Original. Original. Canada. Canada? Canada. Uh, <laughs> can I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's the mask? Akuma. Lumar Beach. Oh, coffee machine. Da. Coffee machine. Good. Mare Mika. Mare. Big one. Mare. Mare. Good. We got a coffee machine, guys. We are in luck. Fantastic. Hear that? That is the sound yeah. of the morning beginning. <laughs> okay. The beans are being grinded. Multi mask. Fantastic. Giata. Machina. Mm. Mm. I don't know what it means. Eat? Eat? <laughs> no. No. Machina, machina. Pro propi. Propi. Pietate. Drive. Alba Julia. Ah. Alba Julia. Drive. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Fantastic. So it turns out uh, in the small villages, not so much coffee being drinking, but rather beer in the morning. Yes. Like my friends, uh, my friends behind me, a beer at 7 a.m. Breakfast of champions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ivana, give us coffee review. Let's see. Did we hit or did we miss? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Good. Pretty good. Very good. Great success on the road trip. All right. On the road again. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Where's our friend? Ciao. Bye bye. Ciao. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Five star morning experience. <laughs> we got the coffee, you got the keys? I got the keys okay. and we're ready to rock. Okay, the journey is just beginning. <laughs> Very nice. Woof. Look at this. This machine. Is used, I think, to open the gate. We no, I think it's the drawbridge. Oh, drawbridge! <gasps> and I think underneath here is where the water moat. Yes, water moat. Wow. I don't want to sound like a twelve-year-old, but sick fort, dude. Yeah, <laughs> we have only been at the gate. We just entered, and we're impressed already. <laughs> anyway, heck of a gate. <laughs> so, so naturally, the first place we came in Alba Iulia is this incredible fortress. Now inside, there's school kids everywhere, as well as shops and bars and places to buy beer and food. 
So the atmosphere is amazing, but also the layout of the fortress is incredible because it seems like everything is radiating out from the center. <laughs> there's actually six gates sped around the outside and everywhere you walk in here there's something going on there's cars in here i think people live here potentially maybe in the old days there's know. definitely accommodations here now like hotels and stuff yeah. there's lots of events and evidently on december 1st this fortress is the place to be because december 1st is romania's national day where the uh, document was signed to unify romania and the document was signed in this very fortress so all around romania december 1st is a national holiday but in this particular fortress it's twice as special because this is a place the document was signed in 1918 after world war one when transylvania was returned from Austro-Hungary to Romania. So this is basically the place where Romania was born. Is that right? That sounds right to me. Wow. Unified at the very least. Yeah. Yes. Which is pretty special. And I will say uh, the rain was coming down a bit and I'm so glad the rain stopped because from the sky, this place looks amazing. <laughs> it seems to be right in the center of Alba Iulia. So there's the rest of the city all around it. And we're up on the higher plateau with this incredible shape that really is just oh my gosh, beautiful. Uh, beautiful, practical for defense purposes That's in history, right. as well as uh, useful nowadays because this place is awesome. Wow. So there's actually museums all around. Uh, we're gonna churches? and churches. Yeah. We're gonna skip the museums today because the action is here. Yeah. We don't want to go indoors. We want to be out here and soaking up the sun. This is the oldest Roman Catholic church in the country, built in 1009. 1009. Wow. Which is pretty special, and uh, it's right beside a Orthodox church. Yes. So religious harmony happening and uh, incredible history. Okay, Ivana, uh, you hungry? Yeah. Maybe let's eat something find something to eat. Ah, uh, what a place to be. Dude, Alba Yulia. What a day we've had so far. Yeah, I love it. We just got here and loving it. Loving it. All right, let's eat, man. Now, it's not exactly clear to me when this wall would have been built. Certainly, the citadel we're in now was built in the 1700s, but it was built on top of an old fort that's much older than that. And like Ivana said, that church is from the year 1009. So, it's not clear to me exactly what century this wall was built, but when you see a medieval restaurant with the front door going right through the fortress wall, wow! Uh, you go there. What do you think? Medieval restaurant? I think so. This is so medieval cool. fortress. I think it's uh, the right idea to eat in the medieval restaurant. <laughs> Guys, check this restaurant out. This is the exterior wall of the fortress the door goes right through hello and uh one of the most well done themed restaurants i've ever seen so it feels like you're right in the bellows of a fortress naturally and they've got a huge bar over here and they've got all the walls decorated with knight in shining armor <laughs> it's such a good job they've done and so ivana and i were thinking of eating down here uh, but we chose to go outside. Yo, seriously, nice design of a restaurant. Absolutely, five stars. And now it's time for some palenka. Did you get palenka? No, you got lemonade. Lemonade. Ivana swears Romania's got really good lemonade. Yeah, the best lemonade in the world, maybe. The best lemonade in the world. Yeah, Romania got it. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say best palenka in the world. <laughs> of course, that too. <laughs> It's a, it's a bread bowl. <laughs> Do you eat the bread? I think Do you so. eat the bread too? Yes. Yes. Okay. Sweet. Oh, looking good. Look at this. Soup with a bread bowl. <laughs> Pretty good. What did you get? And for me, naturally, pork. Oh, that looks good too. It's almost like a pork salad with uh, asparagus and tomatoes. That looks amazing as well. Okay, I think let's eat i think we're supposed to put the onion to the soup uh, hmm. how should i eat this <laughs> bite it bite it bite it bite it bite it bite it <laughs> all right let's eat. <laughs> let's eat you know what the soup soaks into the bread so you can just do this Quite yummy. Yeah, yeah, that's the right idea. Yeah. I remember now. 
Mmm, crazy, nice. Good. <laughs> good. Pretty good. Mmm. Mortadine. Mortadine. So after a good meal like that, our plan was to go back to our accommodation and show you where we are staying, which we still will do. But first things first, we couldn't bring ourselves to leave the fortress here in Alba Iulia. <laughs> so on our road trip, we do a lot of fortresses and old towns. The thing is, a lot of the fortresses are like the one we saw this morning where they're on the outskirts of town and they're a little bit dilapidated. Right. Still beautiful, still interesting but there's not much to do in the fortress. So what's great about Abu Yulia is the fortress seems to also be the old town. Because a fortress is massive. It's almost like a walled city yeah, more than a fortress. Exactly. And so this, uh, in terms of tourism, is very convenient because uh, two stops for the price of one, which let's call it what it is, Forte Bine. Very, very Forte Bine. So here we have a gigantic statue of Mihai the brave who i think is one of the one of the big three in romania you've got stephen the great hero of moldavia mm -hmm. you've got matthias corvinus hero of transylvania uh -huh. and you've got mihai the brave who is seen as the unifier of Romania. It's not a coincidence his statue is here in the place where Romania was actually unified a good 320 years after he was around. Wow, that's but right. But so many of our friends are named Mihai in Romania. That's I'm true. thinking they're named after him. I think so. so He's one of uh, Romania's national heroes national after heroes. all. So I'm thinking maybe there's a, another hero named uh, Catalin the Super. <laughs> <laughs> because most of our Romanian friends, Mihai or Catalin. Yeah, that's true. The top two names in uh, top Romania. Top two names in Romania. <laughs> okay, Ivana and I are going to hang around here for a couple more hours because this place is amazing. And then we'll show you guys our accommodation, which I think is pretty nice. We haven't seen it yet. No. We can go check in with the uh, folks at home. Yes. Super. All right. Checking into our apartment here. Oh, now I totally just screwed up the parking. Evidently, there is reserve parking. So our spot is number 43, but I've never heard of this in my life. Uh, the reserve parking starts at 4 p.m. So it's a, it's a 4 p.m. till the next morning reserve parking. Uh, yes. That's so right. there was a guy in our spot. He left his phone number on his dash. So I called him and I said, hey, man, you got to move. And he's like, no, I don't have to move until 4. And I, and I, and I was like, listen, man, you got to move. And then he very kindly explained it to me. He was an older fella. His English was not perfect, but he did a good job staying calm and telling me I was totally wrong. And then in the end, he moved anyway. But anyway, we made it uh, after all. I was a little bit like, hey, man, I got an Airbnb and I paid for this spot. You got to move. And he's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> and he's like, he's like, I have an apartment here too. This is my spot. And I'm like, no, it's not your spot. He's like, it's my spot until 4 p.m. And I'm like, what? <laughs> anyway, we made it. Let's check in and see uh, our accommodation. Uh, all apologies to the very kind man who explained to me that I was being a tourist. All right, here's our apartment. Check it out. Let's see what, uh, let's see what the lovely Ivana booked for us today. Now, I think these are old communist era buildings because all of the buildings around here are the exact same shape and style and they look very similar and we are very lucky on the ground floor because no elevators i would imagine the old four-story walk up oh i love places like this you did it ivana compare a hotel room to this this is so nice because we got a desk we got a chair i've got a lot of work to do yo are we the richest people in the whole Yo, this place is so nice. Wowzers. Let me pull up my trousers. This place is amazing, Ivana. Living like a king. <gasps> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Shout out to Alba Yulia. Ivana and I have tons of work to do, so it's only three o'clock now. But we are going to 
hunker down and get busy here at home. Good. Okay, Yay. see you guys later. Uh, shout out to Alba Yulia. Best yeah. fortress slash old town slash tourist Very attraction nice. slash chilling spot slash school trip for the kids slash medieval restaurant slash museum slash <laughs> drone scenery ever. I love it.